Right, a sad day. Oh, got to take the BSA back. Yeah, um, I haven't been able to do all the filming I wanted to do with it. A uh, couple of reasons. Um, weather, yeah, wind, rain, um, and also having someone crash into me on the SV650. Yeah, I know. Um, you'll probably have heard about that in a mutter, but there you go. Um, these things happen. I'm sure I'll get another opportunity, uh, but let's just have a rundown of the bike again. Uh, of 45 brake horsepower, um, 55 newton meters of torque, uh, Brembo brakes. Pirelli tyres, spoke wheels, these marvellous clocks that go around the right way but start in a different position, I love them. Uh, that single engine sound is just lovely and this bike has stacks of character, it does. For all those people wondering, does it have any character? Yeah, it does. And if you've tried it and thought it doesn't, you need to go back and try it again. It does. It behaves exactly as it should for a big single. And it is a big single. I know it's only a 650, but it is a big single. Um, I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the controls, everything where it should be all work absolutely fine even though this has been ridden by every Tom, Dick and Harry and treated and abused by them um, as if it doesn't matter um, the clutch no problems whatsoever with the clutch no problems with anything uh, during the time I've had it um, that brake initially felt a bit um, grippy but that soon stopped it could have been just it hasn't been used enough or I don't know you know um, but yeah absolutely fine now the back brake someone suggested it it was weak it was absolutely fine front brake absolutely fine now um, are we still in a 40? I think we might be. Um, economy. It's been really thrifty. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Tame loved it. Um, I think it, it's got to be compared, its closest competitor, really, in terms of size and type of bike is the Classic 500 um, and the Classic 500 is more original to its to the bullet shall we say the original bullet um, but this has got more power it's smoother yeah uh, and I'm not taking anything you know I love Bertie but this really as you can do everything you want with it I've been on the dual carriageway I've been um, on the back roads I've poodled through town the radiator barely noticed um, I'm convinced that this bike would probably cruise at 70 all day if you wanted it to um, and that's largely because of that radiator keeping that temperature just right for it um, and on the radiator, when it does cut in, when you're in traffic, it's not really, really loud. It doesn't make any funny noises. Um, the fan's pretty smooth. Uh, like the bike is pretty smooth. Is there some vibration? Yeah, there's just enough vibration. Um, I like it. Um, maintenance point of view. I don't know anyone that's had any problems, but this engine's going to be pretty good it's oh, whilst the bike is new the engine is proven I think uh, it's got Brembo brakes of course 
as I said, um, so they shouldn't be a problem, should they? No. Handling. Oh, it's just fine. It's a solid little bike that um, goes where you point it and it doesn't do anything untoward, doesn't try and catch you out or anything like that. Um, in traffic, it's easy to ride. It is a single, so it's going to be a bit lumpy, isn't it? Just like Bertie is. This isn't quite as dramatic as Bertie. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's you're getting the gear right for the right speed is important. Um, and it responds well to the throttle. I think they've got the fueling spot on. Uh, and like I say, with the USB and the 12 volt takeoff, you can wire everything up to it, no problem at all. And the sound, I, I like. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's enough of me babbling on. Um, what I'll do is, I'll I'll bring you back when I get closer to Colchester, Kawasaki. So, uh, almost back at uh, Colchester Kawasaki, uh, had a marvellous ride um, down those back roads, oh, it was such good fun, um, yeah, I think if you are, you know, on the fence about whether to get one or not, I I think you, you perhaps ought to go and ride it a bit more because I'm pretty sure that you would buy it. Now, um, what sort of bike you'd be looking for, what uh, as a comparison, there isn't anything to compare it to. Like I say, the closest thing to compare it to is um, the Classic 500. If you don't like the Classic 500, give this a go because it's got all that extra power that you really want from the 500 with some other character um, yeah it's it is a lovely lovely motorcycle um, yeah I'm gonna get ribbed for that yeah I'm, there's people gonna be saying you don't know what you're talking about well that says maybe what I do know is I've thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this and without a shadow of a doubt if I had the money yeah I'd be buying one um, but there you go um, just down here Colchester Kawasaki I've got to hand it back yeah um, I hope you've enjoyed the videos I've done on it a little bit different to what most people would do I imagine but um, there you go I shall shall I take this straight round the back um, I think I shall leave it uh, yeah I'll take it round the back
shall pop it up here. Yeah, wonderful. Um, so let's just have a little a little look before we finish. There you go, BSA Gold Star 650. It's just marvellous. <laughs>